You must not go about as a slanderer amongst your people. You must not stand idly by when your neighbour's life is at stake. I am the Lord. You must not hate your brother in your heart. You must surely reprove your fellow citizen so that you do not incur sin on account of him. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 verses 16 and 17. Tail bearing emits a threefold poison because it injures the teller, the hearer, and also the person concerning, concerning whom the tale is told. Whether the report is true or false, we are, by this precept of God's word, forbidden to spread it. The reputations of the Lord's people should be very precious in our sight, and we should count it shame to help the devil dishonour the church and the name of the Lord. Indeed, some tongues need a bridle rather than a spur. Many glory in pulling down their brothers and sisters, as if thereby they raise themselves up above them. Noah's wise sons cast a mantle over their father, and he who exposed him earned a fearful curse. We may ourselves, one of these dark days, need forbearance and silence, from a brother. So let us render it cheerfully to those who require it now. Let this be our family rule and our personal bond. Speak evil of no man. The Holy Spirit, however, permits us to censure sin and prescribes the way in which we are to do it. It should be done by rebuking our brother to his face and not by telling tales behind his back. This course is manly, brotherly, Christ-like, and under God's blessing will be useful. Does the flesh shrink from it? Then we must lay the greatest stress upon our conscience and keep ourselves to the work, lest by suffering sin upon our friend we become ourselves sharers in it. Thousands have been saved from gross sin by the timely, wise and affectionate warnings of faithful ministers and brothers. Our Lord Jesus has set us a gracious example, gracious example of how to deal with erring friends in the warning he gave to Peter, the prayer with which he preceded it and the gentle way in which he bore with Peter's boastful denial that he needed such a caution. Amen.